Well, hello, Echo Casters. It is I, Echo Craft. And as you can see on my screen, there is the ASM Hydrosynth again. Yay! So I'm going to be totally honest with you about this synthesizer. And, and I have to say that, you know, I do like it. It's amazing. I'm keeping it. Um, it did sound a little thin to me in the beginning. However, uh, as I explored it more and, and, and started playing around with it, uh, I realize it is a digital synth. It's not an analog synth. But I was able to get that warmth out of it, and that blew my mind, and the fatness. Um, so then I went online and I said, hey, let's see if I can find some other patches and stuff, because there's a hundred, hundreds of patches inside this thing. So I did come across uh, some patches from the LFO store. I don't know if you've ever been there, guys. I'll put the link in the description. But uh, the LFO store is awesome. Um, I bought patches for the Op6 and for the Wave Station and the Mod Wave. Uh, they have a bunch of stuff. Um, but anyway, I bought this patch uh, pack uh, called Solar Explorations. And I got to tell you, you got to check it out. It's cool. It sounds big, fat, analog y. And I, I started tweaking with some of those patches. And then I started messing around on my own to create my own patches. And yeah, the Hydrosynth, it's a very underrated synthesizer. I know a lot of people say it's amazing and stuff, but I, I have to say it's pretty underrated um, because I don't hear a whole lot more about it. That was years ago, and I just bought one. So I'm a little behind the, the scenes here, behind the, the, the ball, the eight ball, as they say. But here I go. So without further ado, let's go to it, shall we?
Okay, so that was pretty cool, man. I I really have to say that that sound pack was definitely worth doing. Absolutely. So anyway, um, check it out. I'm going to put the description in the, uh, the link, I mean, in the description below. But definitely check it out. LFO Shop, again, makes really cool stuff. Hydrosynth rules. I don't know. Got the guy behind me there, right there. The little mini freak by Arturia. That's one of my favorite synths now, too. But I got to say, I think the Hydra synth, because of the ribbon controller as well, the pitch control ribbon thingy, pretty cool. So um, anyway, uh, like I always say, stay frosty, stay creative, and whoop, ha, peace. Oh, boy, I tell you.